In this overview, I'd like to show you how to use FX Factory Pro plugins in all available host applications, Final Cut Pro 10, Motion, Premiere Pro, and After Effects. I have some clips loaded on my timeline in Final Cut Pro 10. You can show the effects browser by clicking its button or hitting Command 5. Among all the installed effects, you can see the FX Factory Pro category. Choose that and you'll see the familiar effect thumbnails. If I have a clip selected on my timeline, I'll get a real-time preview when I scrub over any of the plugins. I'll type Glow in the search box. Then I'll drop the Glow plugin on my first clip. Click the Video Inspector plugin or hit Command 4 to see the parameters. Drag the sliders, type in a value, or use a scroll wheel over the value to change it. Next, I'll click the Transitions pane button and then FX Factory Pro to see the thumbnails. I'll drag the Whoosh transition over the cut. I can easily adjust its length. Clicking on it will open the parameters in the Transition Inspector. Next, I'll open the Generators sidebar and click FX Factory Pro. Scrubbing the thumbnails gives you a real-time preview. I'll double-click the Sun Generator to load one on my timeline. Again, a click on it will load the parameters into the Generator Inspector. Let's take a look at Motion. In the Library window, click Filters. You'll see the FX Factory Pro plugins broken up into their categories. Blur, Color Correction, Distort, etc. Drag a filter right onto your clip. Adjust your parameters on the Filters tab of the inspector. Transitions are found in Filters, FX Factory Pro Transitions. I'll drag it to the clip I'd like to transition from and adjust its length to how long I'd like the transition to be. The transition has a destination layer image well that I'll drop the destination clip into. Finally, you can find the generators in the library, generators, FX Factory Pro generators. Next up, Premiere Pro. FX Factory Pro effects are in the effects panel, video effects, broken up into categories. The generators are here as well, under FX Factory Pro Generators. These need to be added to a clip, such as a black video clip or an adjustment layer. The transitions are in the Effects panel, Video Transitions, FX Factory Pro Transitions. Finally, let's take a look at After Effects. FX Factory Pro effects are found in the Effects and Presets panel, broken up into categories. Just like in Premiere, generators are located in FX Factory Pro generators and need to be added to a clip like a solid or an adjustment layer. Transitions are located in FX Factory Pro transitions. Drag a transition to a clip and choose the transition layer you'd like to transition to. Leave it set to automatic or simply keyframe the progress value. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects. And if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com.